We have a date? Yeah, let's do it. I don't recall you say... Oh, the church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training space. That's actually really weird. Why would you do combat in a church? Hmm. Hmm, you're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. You could try going a bit slower or faster, or try a new parry direction. S surprise is the spice of life and fencing. Go on, take a stab at it. Parry quickly, parry diagonally, throw your weapon. <laughs> throw your weapon! <laughs> your foil flies past his head. Hey now, that's dangerous. Let's maintain decorum in our surprises, shall we? <laughs> yes! You prepare parries and lunges for a while. <laughs> you practice, sorry. Nice work. You even have me sweating. I'm just getting started. On guard. You launch into a new duel, and he doesn't spare you an inch. He deflects every thrust, easily knocking them aside and scoring on you. Have mercy. Wow, you're amazing. Rah! You rush him in a flurry of attacks, which he defends with poise. Ah, yes. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't frustrate you. I just wanted to see your true level. <laughs> I half expected you would throw your sword again. <laughs> I didn't mean to show off. I got, I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Love rank number two. So, uh, thoughtful. Reposes time is more forgiving. So, uh, I guess a longer, uh, a longer time to parry. And repose... Post it, knocks enemies back further. Uh, I need the forgiveness. Mm. We could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? He takes off his fencing jacket, looking around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. She wasn't as kind as your mother, it sounds like, but she did some things right. She came for the community, mostly, but I took to it more deeply. There are so many mysteries in this life, Lola. Some people suffer, others become swords. Mm. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? Yes, I do. I do believe in God. Then you understand, I hope, the allure of something greater. Our beliefs are probably quite different, but at least we can agree that love is power, not just lust. Real, genuine, patient love. Mm. I like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what deity we believe in or don't. There are so many pe suffering people. I want to help them all. It's kind of hard to help everyone, but to be able to help those around you is, is a good start. I know you like talking business, and I see it more as a powerful tool. I started Brooks Associates to tackle wealth inequity, inequality. But most wealthy people are interested. <sighs> he releases a long ex exhalation. He ex he ex exhales for a long time, <laughs> shaking his head. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Mm. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling. Why don't you stand up to him? Is he a businessman too? We all have our bad days. Is he a saber? I don't care if he's a saber. Um, why don't you stand up to him? Isaac frowns, looking away. He wants what, what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage to go into the dunge? Even when you're afraid, I just plunge in. Your dad's a dunge monster. <laughs> I just plunge oh. in. Yeesh. I tried that with Vincent once as a teenager. It did not end well. I think I still have a scar on my hilt from the scuff that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than to go on the defensive. The offensive. A crowd starts filtering in. Perhaps a service will start oh. soon. Oh. Out of time already. How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Would you rather offer a gift? Uh, sure. All I have is a rose. 
I never knew you were such a romantic. Why, thank you. Good day, Lola. Be well. That was my only gift. You head home. All right, all right, all right. What you want? What you want, dude? Okay, so you and I... So you and a plus one are invited to my 4th of July barbecue tomorrow. Jonah really wants to meet you. And he doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. You're going to invite anyone? Definitely. Tell them to bring something. Haha, <laughs> see you tomorrow. I get to invite someone? That's interesting. Thank you for coming to practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> so just random stuff okay <laughs> knife fire let's let us go to the dungeon <laughs> oh oh that was that was amazing i need to meet valeria somewhere in a park she is somewhere where there's trees the gym no it might be the gym actually uh la, la, la. Oh, I passed right by her. Her image is right here. That's ridiculous of me. Can I buy more material? Can do you offer? Do you offer any cloth now? I don't care. Shut up. No. All right. You suck. <laughs> this is a shop too. Is what's in here? Okay, welcome. Do you offer you offer cloth? These are some cool jackets, actually. Um, I need a couple of these. I'm gonna buy one more. Thank you, clerk. I'm going back to craft some more items, more gifts, and then I will go on my date. Vodka recipe. Vodka takes cloth and a lot of sugar, huh? Leather jacket. She will love the... What? She love the leather jacket? You made a leather jacket. Go check it out in the mirror. Okay, so the... Oh, I'm all out. That leather jacket is awesome. I actually like it a lot. <clears throat> all right. Leather jacket it is. Go on a date with Pacific. That wait, I forgot her name. Valeria at Pacifica Park. Valeria sitting on a park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. She's angry at ducks. Her expression softens as she sees you. Hey. Oh hey, you came. I'm really glad. I wasn't sure if you would. After how things ended, how did things end? Not things didn't end wrong, except for you left my home without letting me know. But that's fine. All I did was hold your hilt. <laughs> I, <coughs> woo! I asked you to go home with me for all the wrong reasons. But I don't regret our time together. Not one bit. Um... I wish I had been. I don't know. You seemed angry. I'm going to ask her why she was angry. I was. Not at you. I can explain, but the sound of loud quacking interrupts her. Ah. Shut up, ducks. Can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feed ducks in the park. I'm not. <laughs> Good. I hate their beady little eyes. And don't get me started on those snapping bills. <laughs> a friend of mine lost a finger to a duck. Jeez. Got too close with a piece of bread. And then Valeria snaps her fingers. <laughs> Gone just like that. That's scary. Oh. Valeria's lips twist into a root full grimace and she sighs okay i may be exaggerated but only a little um and um promise not to laugh it didn't happen to a friend it was me oh duck bit you that's why you don't like ducks valeria holds up a hand showing you a faint scar on her index finger i could kiss it better it's only a scratch i could kiss it better she extends her hand you look her in the eyes and kiss the tip of her finger she shivers and you slide your lips down to her palm, her wrist. After a long moment, she pulls her hand back and smiles shakily. <laughs> You're uh, good at that. The sound <laughs> of loud quacking interrupts your moment. I can't believe you did that in front of the ducks. 
whatever will they they think would you like to offer a gift yeah um all i have is wine do you like wine you don't like wine and i wasted my gift nah you can keep that thanks anyway though next time we'll go on a date without the risk <laughs> of duck okay i get to keep it nice oh level three attacks do critical damage to confused enemies i love her huh but we were talking about something actually important before right remember i was going to awkwardly explain jake you don't have to it's your business i'm listening i'm gonna say you don't have to uh -uh. no but i want to so that guy right who keeps showing up his name is Jake. I dated him for a couple of years. Um, and um, I dated his sister as well. At the same time, I mean, they both knew. Dual wielding, you dated siblings. How did that work? I've barely dated anyone. Dual wielding? <laughs> ha! Yeah, I suppose I was. Trust me, it was even more work than it sounded. We messed up a, l a lot at first. But we learned. Got better at being together. That sounds good. But with two people, that's interesting. I was young and in love, and I thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me, three artists against the world. Oh, yeah, I do love that she is an artist. We were everything to each other. We had the same goals, believed in the same thing. And the same things. I don't care about the things. And then greed and pride and ambition got in the way, as they usually do. Jessica wanted more, more recognition, more adventure, more everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which was foolish. Nothing stays the same. I moved to Verona Beach looking for a fresh start, and Jake followed me. I know you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a good person, really. Are you trying to dual wield me? He's in love with you? You argue a lot. He's in love huh. with you? Maybe a little. We were together for a long time. Is that so huh. strange? But I think I always loved Jessica a little more. That's terrible, isn't it? It happens. <coughs> Woo! Oh, sorry. I'm trying to make up for it now by being a good friend. As for Jake, I don't love him anymore. Not in that way. But we still have some business together, I suppose you could say. Are you stealing stuff together? <sighs> Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot following us around and all. I'll talk to him about it. Get him to back off. For real this time. Anyway... Enough about my drama. I got you a little gift. Here. Wow, she got me a gift. Go check out the apartment. A beret. I saw it in a museum gift shop and thought of you. Thanks. Can't wait to try it on. You don't have to wear it, but you'll look dashing if you do. I'm sure. But you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. I would love to see it. I, I really like art. You know, my paintings, if you want it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> then it's a date. I've had new inspiration lately. Ciao. Is it me? Am I your muse? I'll look forward to seeing what you think next time. You have a lot to think about as you leave. The afternoon light fades into evening. I like Valeria a lot. Who do you want to invite to Jesse's barbecue? I actually want to invite Valeria. She accepts and she says she'll meet you there. I'm really into Valeria right now. On the way there, you pick up something to share. Soda, cheeses, cake. Um, Cheeses. I don't know what that is. You, wor you worry it's not good enough? Well, Jesse, laugh at you. You buy it anyway. Even if nobody else wants them, you could eat the whole bag yourself. You find Valeria waiting outside Jesse's house. Hey, stranger. Miss me? I actually did miss you, Valeria. You ring Jesse's doorbell, but nobody answers. You hear the sound of talking and music from the backyard. You go around back to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. Hey, Jesse. Everyone be friendly, okay? Uh, yeah, everyone be friendly. A few strangers look at you curiously and raise a glass. Your cheeks feel warm. Oh, you brought cheesies. Samantha goes nuts for these. Oh, yes, yes. Yes! <laughs> and who's this with you? Oh my. Oh yeah. Oh, you indeed. Thank you for letting me crash your little party. <laughs> okay. 
you're very welcome. Want a little tour? I need to go in and prep burgers and shrooms. Shrooms? Meaning the drugs? Yeah. Sure, I brought baklava too. Homemade. Ooh, baklava? Oh man, I can't wait. I said that so. Baklava. <laughs> baklava. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. Thanks so much. Mm. In the meantime, Lola, meet Jonah. Here, go. Talk. Jesus, Jesse. What type of people are you trying to set me up with? You're terrible. The only person that was good was the first guy. I don't even remember his name. You know, you know, the one that's teaching me how to fence. I just met him not too long ago in the church. I don't even remember his name. <laughs> I'm terrible at names if you haven't noticed. Jesse pushes a stranger towards you with a wink and walks away. Um, hi. Um, I'm Jonah. Shoot, you knew that, right? And you're Lola. That's me. You're Jesse's ex. What do you do? Can you become a sword? I'm not going to ask that because most of the people Jesse introduced me don't become swords. What do you do? I do a lot of surfing and hanging out, mostly. Some reading, too. That's that's cool. That's chill. Oh, wait. Do you mean for work? I don't really have a job right now. Okay. I don't have a job either. I'm just dungeon hopping. Jesse said you fight monsters. Is that right? So you're some kind of hero. Ooh, I'm a hero. It's no big deal. It pays well. It doesn't pay well at all, guy. It's no big deal. <laughs> That's exactly what a hero would say. I'm on to you. I've been thinking about trying to dunge out, out myself sometime, maybe. Jesse said you wield um, weapons out there. I can sometimes be an axe. I don't often do it, though. How do you do it? That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. It doesn't take much effort, though. Okay. I just decide to change shape, like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. That would be cool if I could use an axe down there. That would be an interesting weapon to use. Anyway, I could definitely use the money from a gig, but uh... you promise we won't hurt anyone. Like, not even animals. I can't promise anyone. Only monsters. I'm vegan. <laughs> Only monsters. And who decides what's an animal or a monster, I wonder? But I don't really have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting s so bad for money. Here's my mount. Here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime. I haven't been receiving any texts from mom lately. Or if you want to hang out, like as humans, I'm usually at the beach. That sounds good. I'll think about it. Valeria rejoins you and Jonah with a smile. And who's the cute friend of yours? Mm -hmm. Jonah. Wait, we've met. I know you. You're the one who that always. Bought, always du bought duck at the grocery store, right? Bought duck. Eric it abruptly elbows his way into the conversation. Oh my god, Eric, please stop. Oh, oh, Lola, hello. hello. May, I kiss May I kiss your, your hand? hand? Uh, no thanks. Eric gives you a deep, formal bow. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Hey, Eric. I didn't know you'd be here. You don't seem the patriot patriotic type. Well, I heard the ex elusive Lola would be here. Jeez, she just wants me badly. So I had to make an appearance. With the romance of b the barbecue and fireworks, I thought this might be my chance. Real subtle, bro. Ha, salty is for combat and business. Love is an entirely different battlefield. Hmm. And I intend to bring all my cannons to bear on my target. I'm not a target. Not interested. Your metaphor is terrible. I'm not a target. <laughs> hmm. Of affection you are, my sweet. Is my chivalrous ardor stirring your loins? Ew! <laughs> Come on, guy. The way he speaks. Party music plays from speakers inside the house. Everyone starts talking louder. Ugh. Eric... Shudders as if in deep, deep pain. Oh, she is angry. She is angry. Ear poison. I cannot stand modern music. It robs the moment of any elegance. Give my regard to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. Thank goodness. Eric hurries away, hands over his ears. Are you okay, Lola? Eric really gets to you, huh? I'm fine. Thanks. I hate him. I'm just going to shrug, man. You realize you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? 
Jeez. Valeria gives you a little smile of sympathy. That guy gives me the creeps. He does. He does. Eric, Jesse, and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. He most likely is. That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk. But I wish I, he would grow up. I have enough problems. It's a nice thought. He'll never under th understand. It's a nice yeah. thought. Well, it probably just a thought. I don't know if he can be helped, honestly. The evening goes by surprisingly quick with lively conversation. You eat burgers and grilled portobellos steadily, walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. At one point, the music is turned down and everyone quiets, watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel a wild romantic surge through you. I'm not going to kiss Jonah. What the heck? You have to kiss Jonah, kiss kiss Valeria, or d resist. I'm going to kiss Valeria. Why not? Mm -hmm. You share a tender moment together as the fireworks end. Someone turns the music back on. <laughs> Those were some explosions, all right. Now, back to the to partying. Why would I kiss Jonah? I just met him. <clears throat> I hope Jesse won't think I'm rude if I cut out now. I have work I want to do tonight. Hmm. I think she's robbing the museum. <clears throat> and celebrating imperialist colonizers isn't really my jam. It was fun though, huh? Nice meeting you, Jonah. Ciao. Valeria gives you a light peck on the cheek on her way out. Oh, man, I'm head over heels over this girl. <laughs> See ya. Left to fend for yourself, a deep tiredness See, soon overtakes you. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah and shuffle home. I still haven't met Samantha, and I should have met her. Okay. All right, let's see what Jonah wants to say. Jonah first. Nice meeting you at the barbecue. It'd be fun to talk more sometime, but I just remembered I'm out of town for the rest of the summer sad face that's good i'm glad i didn't kiss him yeah sorry maybe we can connect again somehow someday if you ever come back to town in the fall maybe i can show you some surfing spots on the island of course he surfs you what island verona island the ferry is under repairs right now though oh well i hope your summer in verona beach is the best wish you were here Wait, why did I say that? Haha, <laughs> me too. I didn't mean to say... Wait, he said something else? Where where the heck is he? I think we'll meet again somehow sooner than we think. Okay. Jesse? So, how was the barbecue? So romantic, right? You win. Yeah, it, it was romantic. You win. Ha! I knew it! <laughs> Honestly, I consider my job here done. You've met some great folks, gone on some dates. I think I can back off and let you do your thing for the rest of the summer. Is that okay? More dates, please! Uh, okay, I can keep an eye out, but no promises. I've got problems of my own, you know? Love you, cuz. Talk to you later. Valeria. Before you come over, I gotta clean. I mean, it won't be clean, clean. I'm not a nun. But this muffin from 2016 needs to be evicted. Will you let? Will let you know? Jeez, <laughs> will let you know when it smell the it smell is gone too. In the meantime, I found some cool art by the mall. Did you see it? You're the one painting at night. It's you. You were talking. You're doing it. You're doing the graffiti. Oh, I love Moyos. Looks cool. Maybe we can check it out together sometime. Definitely. Oh, man. I'm in love. Why don't I have enough wire? Okay. Uh, time to go. What's up, Familia? So, here we are. Things are getting really steamy, right? <laughs> we had a romantic kiss with valeria under so many fireworks let's see what else is gonna happen in the next video please join me Bye bye